Guys. I'm filming here. Hey guys, it's Gummy. I am back again with another doll unboxing. Um, I also <laughs> have some little helpers who might be floating around in the back. And of course they're going to start barking and playing right as I start filming. Yeah, so this is Bella. She is a rascal. And this man right here is Dipper. They are father and daughter, biologically. And we love them, and they're gonna help us today by looking so cute. Wow, Bella, you're very cute, wow. Yeah, she wants to get right to it. <laughs> okay, so before we get into this unboxing, today, <laughs> has been massively stressful. I was so excited, okay, to go and get my order that I pick up, like my pickup order from Walmart because Avery and Jade Hunter from Rainbow High were going to be in that order and I was so excited to get them and to look at the box and look at them in their box before I can unbox them for you. Um, but when I got there, I went inside first because I forgot some stuff in my order and I also just wanted to scour the toy aisle and see if there were things that wasn't listed on the site for my specific Walmart that, you know, might have been there. And there were. There were Violet and Sunny and they said it was out of stock on the site, but there were Violets and Sunnies. Lots of Sunnies, might I add. Um, both Jade and Avery, which were supposed to be in my order. We'll get there. Um... And they had the Amaya salon chair, but not her actual doll. And they did have some Ruby that I saw, but that was about it. Um, so I pick up this, what we're gonna be unboxing. Not a surprise while I was there looking through the toy aisles. Um, please mind my dogs fighting in the background and growling at each other. Um, but I picked up this Nana Surprise while I was there searching, and so after I check out with everything I need, I go to the pickup section to get the order that I had placed. And so I get all like the stuff that was in it, including my groceries and stuff, and I noticed that neither doll was there. So of course I have to call customer service and get them refunded so now i have to wait multiple days for my money to come through and i'm just gonna reorder them from target delivery i'm not gonna do walmart pickup because clearly they just didn't want to give me my dolls so my money's going to target instead sorry walmart <laughs> um but yeah i need i need a dab i need a dab I need a dab. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are going to hop in to this Nana -na surprise. It is from the series four. And I've been watching a lot of unboxings from me. Shout out to my world. I I love, I love, I love her. She such a wholesome, wholesome woman. Um, I've been watching her unboxings of these and I was like, I kind of want one now. And I really want the Aubrey Hart, the bedroom pack with the bunny outfit. I feel like that's so cute. Um, but they didn't have that. I don't think they had, they had the um, ultimate surprises, like the teen ones. But I just grabbed one of these. And if you didn't know, I grabbed the cat. And if you didn't know that the sticker on there indicates which one that you're getting so like it is technically a surprise toy with the surprise gimmick but you can look at the stickers and make sure that you don't have duplicates if you don't know which ones the stickers pertain to and if you're buying multiples just don't buy the same stickers wham bam no duplicates perfect um and if you do know what stickers pertain to which specific doll then you can just scour for them find the sticker of the doll you want grab it perfect and that's basically what I did I almost got her I was like mm, I kind of want her but then I grabbed the cat instead because I was like okay actually the cat is really cute so I wanted the cat <laughs> um because obviously if I get her then I'm obviously gonna have to get the her tie-dye sister right and I just didn't feel like spending $40 um 
this time and yeah I probably would have been even more bummed if I spent $40 and then finding out that I wasn't gonna get either of my rainbow high dolls in my order so it's fine let's hop right in okay so trying to open it it shows a button where it says press here to open so we're gonna try and do that like you just press it in so I assume you pull out maybe oh yeah for sure. For sure. Oh, this is sharp. This is kind of dangerous for a kid. Oh, fuck. I don't want to bend the straw. Oh my god. Oh. There we go. <laughs> it's a paper straw, so that's good, but I bent it. Rip. Oh, it's actually fixable. Perfect. You got a little purple straw. <laughs> okay. Instructions. Instruction booklet. <laughs> okay. Insert straw halfway, blow up, do not overinflate, gently tear, squeeze. Sounds magnificent. Let's do that. Okay, so this is the bag we get that has everything in it, our little surprise bag. I'm kind of excited. I, I really wanted one of these. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Where's the part that I stick it in? Right here. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is so exciting. Okay. pardon my floor um but yeah it's uh, I'm gonna need to vacuum <laughs> oh oh my gosh now that that happened um and I'm definitely going to have to clean my floor <laughs> um, let's try and break into this puppy where do I open it at is there no like specific area to open Oh, smart. Okay, so we got the little kitty, little kitty cat. Cute little palm with little kitty ears. It's reusable, you can use it for, I don't know, anything that you can fit in here. Whatever you think you can fit in here. You can fit some monies. You could fit maybe a small phone. Um, you could fit some you know, paraphernalia, you know, um, <laughs> so here we have a list of everybody in the series, and it looks like I got Paula perfect, she's so, so cute, yeah, I almost got Babe Groovy, um, because I almost picked up the peace sign, but then I was like, if I'm getting Babe Groovy, then I have to get the tie-dye one. What is her name? Melanie Maud. Period. Cute. Okay. So let's get her out. Oh, I am so excited. Let me get my trash out of the way <laughs> okay so there's this plastic thing in here to hold the doll and I guess hold the shape of the palm it's just a little flimsy guy now 
but that's okay because I'm still definitely 100% going to reuse this. I'll like clip it to my little backpack or something. I have a Pusheen backpack that I use a lot, so this will probably go on it. And so now we have this plastic ball. Let's open the plastic ball. <laughs> oh, oh no, it's taped. Scissors. No, oh, don't look on my butt. Okay. I don't want to cut anything. I don't want to cut the doll. Okay, we'll cut from this side. There we go. Oh my god, her foot. I cut the tape and her foot shot out. Oh my god, okay. She was mashed in here. Ah, she is so cute. Oh my god, she is so, so, so cute. Ah, this feels so weird. Ugh. Okay, so now I understand what they meant. You know, everybody on doll YouTube, Claudina, Doll Circle, My World, those, those, those YouTubers. Um... I understand what they meant by the texture of the doll feeling inflated. That is so weird. Because her head is like inflated like a ball. It is so weird. But it is, um, as you know, probably if you're watching mine, I'm a very small channel. <laughs> um, that is fabric over plastic or whatever the heck this is that makes it feel so like inflated um but it actually it's like really nice look feeling like and it's nice looking too she's really really cute i like this little fringe she's got going on with her little hat and um if you didn't know as well um inside their hair is actually sewn to the hat so the hat is not removable and i personally don't really have that much of an issue with that um because i wasn't really planning on like redressing them and stuff so it's fine with me <laughs> but i know some people don't really like that so it just depends who you are um they have this big ass um what is that called? A tag. Tag in the back of their head that I am just going to rip off because why would I want a huge tag on my doll? Ah, oh my god, I'm so scared of ripping her. <laughs> so I just ended up cutting the tag. You can still see a little bit of it, but that's fine. It's not as bad as it was. Her hair feels really good quality. Like, I really like her hair. Um... It's thin, obviously, because it's not fully, like, on her head. Like, she's bald doll with hair sewn to her hat for it to poke out. Um, but it's so soft. Like, I was not expecting it to be this soft, honestly. And it feels so good. She's so cute. Oh, my God. I am actually kind of in love with her. Um, so her appendages do bend but they don't have like articulation like they don't keep their bend you know they they just you know they do have swivel at the hips but like their legs just go out they don't sit they just go <laughs> out like that and I'm like okay so <laughs> let's look at her detail before we open up her clothes and her stuff so she has a really, 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 here, hold on, let me fix the lighting. She has a really, really pretty, um, yellow plaid underwear set with, it looks like it's belted and has like a little belt across the top and belted around her waist. And that is so, so cute. I think that is so cute. Um, her eyes are like a purpley blue and she has a pastel tie-dye kitten hat look well it's supposed to be a kitten but I guess it looks like a kitten too um and she has little thigh high socks going on super cute just plain white nothing fancy to them super prep she's a very preppy girl 
and we love that we love soft girl vibes we love a girl who likes to be girly and isn't afraid to so yeah this is paula perfect i'm kind of in love with her she might be one of my favorites next to aubrey hart ah oh my gosh i totally just noticed her butt says as if it's backwards for you but it says as if and that is adorable if I say so myself. So. <laughs> Let's fucking open her things. Let's open her things. <laughs> okay, so while Paula is sitting in my lap looking gorgeous, um, we are going to open up her little outfit. We're gonna start with the clothes first. So we got two pieces. Ah, okay, this is so, so cute. Let me put it on my finger so you guys can see it. So we've got this little like blouse type. It's very flimsy and thin with little jewel buttons. They're not printed on. They're little like bedazzled jewels and a cute little cardigan vest over the top. It's all one piece. The cute little collar for our little preppy baby it is so so cute i love this top i love that it looks knitted or that it is knitted actually it looks so great i love that and she also comes with this little black and white plaid skirt with buttons down the middle oh but buttons down either side i did not see that um, and it's buttons on either side and it has just one little velcro at the top instead of all the way down like the shirt um, and I think this skirt is so so cute oh my goodness that is adorable I cannot wait to see it on her but before we put that on her let's open her shoes okay oh MG. These are cute. <laughs> They're like this blue pearlescent kitty heel with a white sole. Okay, lighting. Ew, my chihuahua hair all over my hoodie. Let's not. Um, but yes, this is super, super cute. Focus queen. wow but yes these cute little blue kitty heels we love them they are so so cute oh my god look at that cute little kitty ah i can't wait to see her outfit on her let's put it on her okay let's make you pretty girl let's make you so pretty So this is Paula Perfect in her cute little outfit and her little shirt, her cute little skirt, and her cute little kitty pumps. And I really like the Nana Surprise. Honestly, I liked this better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I still really, really, really want Aubrey, um, my cute little bunny girl with her little bedroom set, but I will get her and I will unbox her for you guys. Um, but this was so much fun to try out just as a little tester before I get her. And she is so, so cute. Look, we're twinsies. <laughs> um, yes, this was so much fun. And I hope you guys had as much fun as I had, um, unboxing her. Um, please, please, please tune in because I will be unboxing Bella Parker very soon because Jade and Avery are on delay after this whole fuck up that Walmart had put me through, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, yes, this was so much 
fun and I will see you guys in my next video and yeah make sure that you're subscribing and I'll see you next time see ya